What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so we fi we're finally here. Geosedge Town. It's finally, finally, it's finally time to, uh, for us to take uh, advantage of this whole place right here. Really, there's not a lot that you can do except just get over here and uh, notice a Team Flare member that you once defeated. And he's like, Geosedge Town is a town of stones. That is true. It is a town of stones, and it has a well, it has particular uh, meaning to everything. As you guys can see, Geosage Town. Quiet stones speak volumes. Let's go ahead and take a look. Look at that. Looks like a claw coming out of a uh, coming out of the ground. And well, eventually we're going to be seeing a huge uh, event come out of this. You read this, and it's going to be like these ancient stones are said to emit mysterious power. Ah, now. Let's go ahead and see where that Team Flare member went. And if you ride all the way up here, Team Flare's member is like, Hear this, Pipsqueak! Team Team Flare is gonna use the stones on Route 10 and a fantastic treasure to make everyone on our team happy. In this world, the ones who have power are the ones who win with Flare. Hmm. And, well, hello there. Serena's here. Draven, was, was someone from Team Flare here just now? Yeah, he was he was here, but he's not here anymore is he and the only thing past here is a dead end There's something very weird about team flare. It is <laughs> It is a it is a it is a weird weird situation. So let's go ahead and see where he went to as You guys can see it's nothing but stones. Is it an ancient artifact? Probably. I don't know so <coughs> Geosage town not much that you can actually see right here, guys, except a few houses and a few items that you can actually grab. So let's go ahead and take a look at the places that you can visit. Talk to this lady, and she's like, for some reason, a Pokemon will not evolve when it holds an Everstone. I have quite a few of them, so I'll share one with you, and there you go, guys. We get ourselves an Everstone. This, of course, will prevent any kind of Pokemon from evolving, and, uh, hmm... It's probably a, a very good item for any Pokemon that you just, uh, you know, you, you kind of want to save till later on, you know, kind of like a Ralts or something like that. I hear the history, or I hear the history of the area goes back to ancient times. You can probably get the details from the guide in the uh, hotel. Ah, oh, there is a hotel around here. There probably, yeah, there is a hotel. Let's see, I'm drinking my water. Mm -hmm. Now, you can find an item right here. Here we found ourselves a soft sand. This will, of course, power up any kind of ground type moves. And, well, let's go ahead and see where this hotel is from. Now, before we go in there, we do see an item. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and grab this. And where are you? There you are. Here we found ourselves a timer ball. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and find somebody here. Let's find, uh, let's find that person. Okay. Man, it feels like my allergies are kicking in. <laughs> Jeebus criminy. Okay. So, let's see. Going right here. There's nobody here, but if you talk to these people next to the fur fro, I think that your Tyrant is great too. It makes me happy when other people like me say, like the same Pokemon as me. I get curious about people who like different Pokemon than I do. Ah, okay. And then this person's gonna be like, hello? Okay, nothing. Uh, let's see. Welcome to the Hotel Marine Snow. I look lo located uh, here in cozy Geosage Town, the town of stones. Nothing right there. Talk to this person. And where are you? Where might you be from? Is that right? All the way from Vanneville Town? Well, it's a pleasure to have you here. Yeah, there really, yeah, there really isn't anything else. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay, so let's see. Talk to this lady. The Kalos region is very big. Yeah, nobody's been, nobody's informational here. Like, what the heck, guys? Come on. And talk to this lady. I put a little weight on, I put a little weight, and now I'm feeling down. Well, I, su I suppose you can't start feeling better without fe feeling sad first. Here, I'll give you a downcast ribbon. This downcast ribbon, I don't know what it's for. Oh, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's given to a Pokemon right there. Okay. And what if we go right here, and this is the O Powers guy. We are not doing anything except, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and bond. 
And from here, we're gonna be getting ourselves a speed power level one, which is all right. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna, yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna use any kind of the old powers right here because, well, yeah, I've never did. Anywho, let us continue on to the next portion of of our adventure here in, in GeoSense. Like I said before, guys, there really, there really isn't a lot that you can do right here except just look at the stones, look at Team Flare, and before we do anything, let's go ahead and switch our Pokemon right here. Let's go Star Fox because I have a feeling something, something pretty big is going to happen right here. So if you go straight right here, you're going to be hearing off into the distance. Lucario, what are you doing? Oh, would you look at that? It is Corina. Hey, you're that trainer from Route 5. Oof. I'm not exactly sure, but I think Lucario is saying he wants to battle you. Would you battle with us? So, I have two Lucario, but do you know which one is the one that has taken a shine to you? Yes, the one on your left side, I think. Or the right side, I should say. Okay, so here it is. We are taking on uh, Gym Leader Karina in a regular battle. And, of course, she will be having two, two Lucarios. So, let's go right ahead and uh, use a Flame Charge right here. Because remember, Lucarios... Yes, Lucarios are... Oh my god, yeah. Lucarios are both fighting and steel type, so I got somewhat of an advantage right here. And this will speed us up just a tad bit. Let's go right ahead and use another flame charge now that we're faster. And that is how you do it. Alrighty, okay. Look at that, alright. And Star Fox, looking it. And Nova grows to level 24, which is good. Nacho to level 25. And here comes the second Lucario. All right, let's see what happens here. Okay, let's go straight for a flame charge. And from there, Lucario is just, uh, yeah, it, it is a tank of a Pokemon. It will start using, what was it, Power Up Punch. That right there will increase its attack, so just keep an eye out for it. So here we go, let's get it. Another flame charge. And there you go, Lucario defeated. Alrighty, okay, and just like that, Star Fox grows to level 32, and from there, we have defeated, uh, oh yeah, look at that, we get Sharp Tooth at level 26. Sharp Tooth, of course, is learning ancient power, so let's go ahead and teach that. Huh, let's go ahead, take away Bide, we don't really use Bide at all, and there we go, Sharp Tooth has grown and learned ancient power, Karina, not happy, yes, alrighty. She's like, okay, I get it now. I see why Lucario likes you so much. So, do you remember uh, Do you remember that I am the gym leader at the Shalur City? Once you get past the cave just beyond here, you'll be there. So stop, uh, stop by and say hello. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Let's see. So let's go straight to Route 11. There are a few things that we can do. What we're going to do, or yeah, we're going to be finishing off this episode by battling everybody. Because, yeah, we kind of need to... Uh, Kinda need to grow a few levels before we uh, start doing anything else. And this guy's like, do you like stones? I think they're real neat. Ah, actually thought he was gonna battle us. That's why I switched. Okay, so let's go. Let's get it. Here we are taking on Psychic Emmanuel. He's gonna be coming out with a Solosis. Solosis is looking pretty good. But here comes the Goat Jordan and well, Let's go straight for a Razor Leaf attack. And that will take a huge chunk out of Solosis' uh, power. And, well, yeah, our physical attack has far harshly gone down. So, <coughs> let's see what Bulldoze can do. And that takes care of Solosis. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so let's see. Is there anybody else? Blade. Grows to level 26 and is learning Retaliate. This move right here, the user gets revenge for a fainted, fainted ally. If the ally fainted in the previous turn, this move becomes more powerful. Yeah, too bad my Pokemon don't faint very often, so we're just going to keep the old moves. And we're going to be moving on right here to Sigalift. Okay, Sigalift is looking like a problem in itself. So let's go ahead and switch to, to Nova. And... Well, hopefully Nova can actually beat this guy right here. So here is Sigalift, level 24. 
And let's go with a Thundershock. Here comes a Light Screen. So that right there... Yeah, this right here is going to be a little bit difficult to beat. And... Wow. Okay, so... We got five turns. And we need to physically beat this Pokemon. So let's go switch to Blade. Let's get it, Blade. Alrighty. Okay. So here's Blade. And here comes a Psybeam Attack. That... Takes a huge chunk out of our HP, but we do have Shadow Sneak. So here it goes. We're sneaking right behind this Pokemon, and there we go. Sigalift is getting his butt kicked, but here comes a Whirlwind attack. Yeah, that right there is not, not cool, but Sharptooth has been brought into the fold. Let's go ahead and use Ancient Power. All right, Sharptooth. And, oh, nearly defeats Sigalift. Wow, we're we are getting a yeah, we're getting a huge chunk of Pokemon and here comes Star Fox. Alright. Let's see. Flame charge. Let's go. For the win. And there goes the flame charge. Sigalift has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so everybody's getting points right here. Nova grows to level 25 and is learning parabolic charge. This move is pretty cool. May not be it as powerful. But, the user attacks everything around it. The user's HP is restored by half the damage taken to, by those hit. So, it is a very useful move. Which we will be switching out because, well, you know. We got any new moves and all that crud. And the Goat Jordan has grown to level 27. And, just like that, we have uh, defeated another Pokemon trainer right here. Let's go ahead and grab this berry. Look at that, we found ourselves a Citrus Berry. Not a bad find, and Pokemon you can find right here, guys. Both Nidoran, male and female, depending on what version you're playing. Uh, yeah, depending on what version you're playing, one or the other, you'll find in uh, in hordes, and you'll find more than you know. You'll find more than one, so whatever. And let's go ahead and battle this person right here. A battle girl's power comes from the her belt. Do you know? Uh, yeah, no, no, not not from the belt. You are a white belt, so that is not a lot. Alright, so here we are taking on my foo, and we're gonna be going straight for Nacho Libre himself. Hey, Nacho! Aerial Ace Attack. Let's go. Yeah, I didn't expect that. My foo getting his butt kicked, but here comes a Force Palm Attack. That doesn't paralyze our Pokemon, thankfully. Okay. Let's go. That's right, Aerial Ace has done the trick, and Nacho has grown to level 26. And anybody else getting levels? Nope. None of that. Okay. So, let's go ahead and move on to the next stage right here. See if we can actually find something. Uh, we will be needing Cut eventually, and we are getting a message from the Hollow Clip. This right here is Professor Sycamore, and he's like, hello, uh, hello there. Looks like you've almost made it to Shalur City. That's fantastic. It looks like your journey with your Pokemon around Ka the Kalos region is going swimmingly. I wanted to tell you about a person in Shalur who knows a great deal about Mega Evolution. People call him the Mega Evolution Guru. I've told everyone else about him, so if you have a second, go visit him over at Shalur City. Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing. And... Well, we need a Pokemon with Cut because... There is... Well, I won't do it just now. Yeah, I won't do it just now because that that is for a little bit later. But we need to switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go right ahead and go with Blade and uh, Nacho. And let's see what happens. Behold the results of my training. And uh, yeah, no. Not going to repeat that again. So here we go, taking on Brains and Brawn, Frank and Sly. Okay. Alrighty. So let's see what happens right here. Taking on uh, a fighting and a, and a... Well, he's now a fairy type, so that's pretty cool. Let's go with Machoke and a Shadow Sneak. On to Mr. Mime. Here it is. Oh, yeah, we're sneaking right behind you, Mr. Mime. And that nearly makes Mr. Mime faint, but here comes Aerial Ace Attack. That nearly defeats Machoke, and uh-oh, here comes a Psybeam attack. Wow. Okay. 
And okay, so that that right there is bad because foresight enables a fighting type Pokemon to hit me. So let's go right ahead. And you know what? Let's go. With, actually, we already got Blade in there. What the hell? All right, let's go with Star Fox. All right, Star Fox, ready to go. Let's go with a side beam to this guy and shadow sneak onto that guy. Here we go, finishing it off. Blade right behind this guy. And there goes Mr. Mime. Alrighty, okay. And that gives us a, quite a few points. Now we just gotta finish off Machoke. And just like that, Machoke has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and because of that, Star Fox grows to level 33. And Blade to level 27. So this has been a this has been quite an eventful one. And look at that, sharp tooth without doing anything. Level 27. So I guess we're doing such a good thing right here. Holy crud. Okay, so before we do anything else, I am going to come back. I'm gonna get a Pokemon with uh, with Cut, and uh, I'm gonna heal up some Pokemon because yeah, we still got one more battle. I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys, so we're back, and well, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna grab that, that special TM that uh, we have gone there, and unfortunately, I didn't teach the Pokemon that I needed to teach, uh, so I brought in Pansage, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, I can't remember all these Pokemon's names set. Oh, wow, what did I do? Yeah, I get a little too ahead of myself right here, so let's go ahead and grab this cut and teach Pansage. That way... We don't have any other Pokemon or our main Pokemon using the cut technique right here. So, yes, we can cut through this. And there we go. It has been cut. So the next thing we have to go through is this little slide. And we're going to find ourselves a TM69 Rock Polish. Which, it it actually helps out with Rock-type Pokemon speed. So that's, a, that's also a positive right there. Now, we don't want to get attacked by any Pokemon here. There is one more item that, that we need to grab. And, well, look at that. We are getting attacked by a throw. Okay, so I'm not going to lie, guys. I want to capture throw because it is a very useful fighting type Pokemon. Top of it all, I want to trade it to the other version that I have here. So, chances are I might just capture like a second one right here, so... Let's go right ahead, use a... Where is it? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, we only got one Great Ball. Holy buckets. Alrighty, so here we go. Great Ball. Does the trick. There's... Oh, come on! Okay, so this Pokemon is a bit of a tough Pokemon. And it is smashing my Nacho, so... You know what? It must die. It shall die. So let's go straight for a Wing Attack right here. And there goes throw. So eventually I'll capture you again. Or somewhere down the road. And well, Pansage without doing anything grows to level six. That's funny. Alright, so let's let's go ahead and heal up uh, Nacho. Let's see. Heal up Nacho. And Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this item. Here we found ourselves a hyper potion. This is a step up from the uh, super potion and all that stuff. And if you go up this hill, you're gonna find yourself a uh, you're gonna find yourself another arrow uh, battler. So here we go, sky battle with the sky trainer. Yes, it's a sky trainer. My bad, guys. And are you serious? I got Nacho right here. Don't tell me that Nacho can't. Okay, come on. You gotta give him a shot. Hold on, let's try this again. Care to sky battle? Yes. Well, well, is it in the shame? You don't have a flying type Pokemon. Are you serious? I got a flying type Pokemon. His name is Nacho. Put some respect to his name, damn it. Never mind. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna we're gonna stop right here, guys. So in the next episode, we're gonna be going into this cave and exploring just the dip the depths of it and all that crud. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.